Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video. I feel so weird filming and sitting here talking to a camera again. I have not filmed in over a week. I was so insanely sick. I had strep throat and I had the flu at the same time. It was a horrible combination. Both my kids got the flu and somehow I managed to get strep throat on top of it. It was horrible. The only one that managed to get by and through all that germy mess was my husband and I have no idea how he did it. But I was so insanely sick. I mean, I couldn't even talk. I had no voice. Like I felt like my throat was being ripped out. Like that strep throat was so bad. So while I was sick for the past week, I mean, not only did I not shower for the entire week, but I definitely did not put on any makeup. So I'm excited for today's video because we are sitting down today to play with and test out lots of new makeup. Everything I have sitting here in front of me today is brand new from primer, foundation, bronzer, blush. I mean, you name it, we are just gonna play with lots of new products today. So I'm excited to see what works today, maybe what doesn't work and what's not so good, and just overall, just kind of play around and see what look we come up with today. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in, let's start playing with some makeup. All right, so we're gonna start out with a new primer today. This is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Fector. It's an instant wrinkle blurring primer. I mean, doesn't that sound amazing? This primer says it's instantly gonna fill and blur the appearance of deep lines and creases to prevent makeup from caking into and magnifying the look of wrinkles. It's a lightweight, breathable formula goes beyond blurring to seal in skincare benefits while prolonging makeup wear. So this sounds amazing because as we all know, when we start getting those little fine lines and wrinkles, makeup just loves to pull into them and then it ends up making your wrinkles look 10 times worse. So this is supposed to kind of blur and fill in those lines and wrinkles so that your makeup just goes on perfectly smooth over top. So it comes in a nice little squeezy tube like this. I am very excited to test this out. I love a good primer that really does blur and, you know, kind of minimize the look of lines and wrinkles. So let's see what this does. So I'm just going to dot this on to the T-zone area. I'm going to really work this into like the smile lines here. Because a lot of times that's where makeup like ends up kind of, you know, caking or like, you know, kind of settling into those smile lines here. And then anywhere where you have any deeper set lines, just kind of fill them in with this primer. It's very, very lightweight. Like it's super smooth and so lightweight. So I like that. And then let me look up close in the mirror here. Oh my gosh, like it honestly did smooth over those lines and minimize those lines. Like I'm not even kidding. Wow, like it really did minimize those little lines. I mean, I don't have deep set lines, but the lines that I had there, not joking, completely like smoothed over. Wow. All right, I'm so excited to try out this new foundation. I picked up two different shades because I have no idea what I'm gonna be. It's that new Ilia, the True Skin Serum Foundation. I love this brand. It's an all, I think it's all organic. It's all natural, but I think it's organic as well. So they just came out with this serum foundation, which I was dying to get my hands on. I've been seeing it on Instagram nonstop. And as soon as it became available, I'm like, all right, let me pick one of these up. Well, let me pick two up because I don't know what color I'm gonna be at all. So I picked up SF5 and SF7. So let's kind of see what these look like. They come in a gorgeous bottle like this. It's like a frosted glass bottle with a pump. So that is gonna be perfect. Okay, this one, that's the SF7, which I think is actually gonna be perfect. So after I started getting better, I was like, you know what? I just need to apply a little self tanner to make myself feel better. So I am a little bit more self tanned right now. So I think that this S F7, which is Catalina. I think this one's gonna be perfect. So I'm just gonna take some of this and let's just dot it around. All right, so I am just going to start applying this with my beauty blender. It's a serum foundation, so it's super lightweight. It feels very lightweight on my skin already. On first thought, I would say it's definitely like a good medium coverage. It's covering everything super pretty, but not like on a heavy, like heavy feeling, like cakey way at all. Like it feels very lightweight, but it's got really good coverage. Definitely at least a medium coverage. Okay, that is so pretty on my skin. It looks like skin. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. Let me look up close with my mirror here. But it's not settling into any lines. That pore filler and that line blurring primer is amazing because like it really did just even out those lines like that looks good but the foundation's not like clinging to any dry patches which I do have some dry patches right now because I've been using my truth treatments a retinol 5% so it's not clinging to anything like that I mean it looks really amazing on my skin so far I'm impressed I always usually love serum foundations because they really look like skin but then they're not like heavy and stuff either. So that's exactly what this is feeling like. And I'm impressed so far. I really like how it feels. Like it dries down super nice. It feels natural on my skin. Like it's not tacky. It's not overly matte. It feels good on my skin. So, so far so good there. All right, next up brows. I'm gonna do my little quick brow routine, which I showed you guys in my, um, what was that? My five minute makeup that I did that tutorial, which you saw me do my brows in that video, so I'm not gonna bore you again, so I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so we're gonna move on to eyes next. I'm gonna take my Ilia Eye Primer. This is the one I shared with you guys in my favorites video, I believe. I'm gonna put some of that on my eyelid and then just pat it in. I am obsessed with this eye primer. It's so perfect. Okay, then we're going to use the Glow Skin Beauty Palette. This is the Elemental Palette. I've been obsessed with this palette. I've been using all of the Glow Skin Beauty Palettes. That's all I've been wearing as my eyeshadows lately because the shadows are gorgeous. They blend so well onto your eye, and I just love the colors. So we're going to use the Elemental Palette today because this is kind of just like my everyday look that I've been doing. I wore this in a couple of my past videos, and I got so many requests on how to use and like what I did. So I'm just going to kind of do that today. I've been loving loving this palette so starting out with the crease color first I'm gonna take this shade right here it's such a pretty kind of light gray like a brownish gray and then I'm just gonna apply this right into the crease this look is so easy you guys this is all I've been doing and then I'm gonna take this cream shade right here it's just kind of a highlight shade or a lid shade, whatever you want to use it as. It's just like a beautiful matte kind of cream shadow. I'm going to use this on the lid. And this isn't the brush that I normally use for the eyelid, but I left my eyelid brush downstairs and I don't feel like going to get it. So we're making do, but it works. All right, so we're going to deepen up the outer V. And I'm going to take this middle shade right here. This is a gorgeous brown. I am so in love with this brown for like the outer kind of V, just smoking out a little bit, crease color, anything like that. I'm obsessed with this brown shade right here. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to work this darker shade just right along the outside. And then I am going to take it up in the crease just very slightly. And then again, just work it along the outer V. And then I'm going to shimmer things up a little bit. You can just leave it matte like this, but I'm going to take a little bit of the shimmer shade that's right down here in this larger pan. And then I'm just going to apply this right in the center of my eyelid right down the middle. And then we're gonna take the black matte shade that's in this palette. We're gonna use this as my eyeliner today. I'm taking this little tiny brush, and then I'm just going to focus it right along the lash line. Then taking my black eyeliner, I'm just gonna tight line my upper lashes. All right, we're gonna curl our eyelashes next. All right, I'm taking my Glow Skin Beauty Volumizing Mascara, just coating all those lashes. Okay, so moving on to concealer. Now I have two different concealers here that are brand new that I wanted to test out. One of them is the Bobbi Brown Instant Full Cover Concealer. I wanna try this. And then the other one, I've had this forever and I still have not tried this. It's the Makeup Forever, it's the Lift Concealer. And I bought this, oh my gosh, like months and months ago and it's still in the box and I still have yet to try it. This is the problems of a makeup addict. You buy stuff and then you throw it to the side and completely forget about it. So I'm trying to decide kind of what I wanna to do to test these out. Let's kind of try out the Bobbi Brown first. This is supposed to be, it says instant full cover concealer. So I'm really curious about this. 
this. It comes in a nice doe foot wand. And I, I don't know if this is supposed to be like a concealer or a corrector. It seems like it's gonna dry insanely, insanely fast. So let me blend that in. I'm gonna just kind of use it as, oh, that does have good cover though. It definitely dries fast. So yeah, if you put this sucker on, get to blending right away. Like a little bit just went a long way with my under eyes. Like, did you see how much I put on only? Like I put on such a small amount and that covered really well. Like that's all I would actually have to put on. I put on such a tiny amount. So that's kind of impressive. I feel like it's like dries really fast, but it's not gonna budge or anything. Like it's not moisturizing where it feels like it's gonna slide around. I don't know, that's interesting. That one's interesting to me. So I'm gonna actually take a little bit of the Makeup Forever Lift Concealer as well. I'm gonna apply it on top. And let's just kind of combine a little concealer action here. This one comes in a squeezy tube, which I'm not as big of a fan of. I like concealers that come in like a doe foot applicator the best. But I think that's kind of why I haven't tried this one out yet. I'm just weird like that. So let me just dab a little bit of this on. This one I feel like could be a little bit moisturizing. So this could be like a good combination of concealer here. I like this one too, actually. This is actually a really good combination. All right, so that's not a bad combination under my eyes there. It actually looks really good. Looking up close, it's not like drying. It's not like super like sucking the moisture out of my under eyes. Sometimes I'll apply a concealer and it does that like right away. So this actually looks really nice to start for sure. I don't know if it's gonna beat out my Dermablend concealer because that Dermablend concealer is like my holy grail concealer. It's what I reach for when I wanna look like perfect. That's what I reach for. I'd say, I mean, this does look really nice, but I don't know if it compares to the Dharma Blend. All right, I'm gonna set the under eyes, which is like a little bit of powder, because I'm not sure what's gonna happen with this. So I'm gonna take this one right here. This is the Urban Decay, the Velvetizer Powder. I'm gonna shake this up a little bit and just apply a little bit of this under my eyes. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it with my Beauty Blender like this. And then just lightly go underneath the eye and just set that. Just like that. Let's make sure that doesn't budge. Okay, now I am using a cream blush today, a new cream blush, but I kinda wanna set the T-zone area. So I'm gonna take my Osmosis Powder. This is the pressed base in natural medium. And I'm just gonna set like down the T-zone area. Just make sure that everything stays looking good and not oily because down the T-zone is where I always get a little bit oilier. So I always make sure to set, you know, just going straight down the T-zone, especially with this powder because it gives extra coverage and just perfects at that area so much. All right, so now we're gonna finish off the eye look. I'm gonna take that same middle taupey brown shade here that we used on the outer V. I'm gonna get a little bit of this onto my brush and then we're just gonna smoke it out underneath the lash line. Just to finish off the eye look here. And then taking the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'm gonna coat the lower lashes now and then our eye look will be done. All right, as I'm putting on my mascara, I'm like looking close into the mirror and that combination of concealers honestly does look so good. Like it looks like my skin, I don't see concealer sitting under my eyes at all. So I'm actually really impressed like it looks good. Okay, we're gonna move on to bronzer now. I picked up the Lily Lolo. This is the Honolulu Pressed Bronzer. You know me and bronzers, just give me them all. Let me try them all. This one comes in a cute little compact and the shade looks perfect. So I'm super excited to try this. I'm gonna get my little bronzer brush here and then I'm just gonna start bronzing up along the hairline. I love the name of it, Honolulu Bronzer. I mean, doesn't that just make it sound like you're in Hawaii right now, I don't I wish. I was supposed to be in the Bahamas last week when I got sick, so this is what happened. So we got to the Bahamas, everyone was feeling good, 
And then the first night that we were there, my youngest son came down with a fever and I went to the gift shop. I got a um, thermometer and it was like 102.5 fever. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, no way. And I freak out when my kids get fevers. So I'm like, shit. I'm like, we're in another country. My son has a fever. So I started freaking out. And then we were like, okay, we need to book, you know, to go home. Like, I can't keep him here. Like, I have to get home, make sure he's like, you know, close by to his doctor or, you know, God forbid anything would happen like to your child when you're in another country. Like, I just like had to be home. So I, we, so we booked a flight that night for the next morning to fly out. And then once we did that, we all went to bed, you know, bright and early, we had a flight the next morning. And then me and my other son woke up so insanely sick the next day. We were so sick. I had like the chills. I had a fever. Uh, my son had a fever. So I was like, oh my God, thank God we're leaving. Um, but it was miserable. Like think of like sitting in an airport and then having to fly and you're just so sick. Like that's how we felt. It was so, so awful. So we ended up obviously all coming home. We left our vacation after one day, but we had to do it. So we ended up all laying on the couch and like being sick for like the next week. But, uh, it was so, so bad. But Anyway, back to this bronzer. Okay, I'm obsessing. This bronzer is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I feel like I just stepped off an island vacation. Like, I'm not even kidding. The color bronze is so beautiful. I'm guessing you guys can see that. Look at that. Look at that on my skin. It's so perfect. It's not too warm. It's not cool tone. It's like a beautiful island bronze. And I'm not even kidding. It is so perfect. Now this is a matte bronzer, which I usually am not as big of a fan of. I like my bronzers to have a little bit of glow because I'm just a glowy person like that. Glowy person like that. You know what I mean? Like I like the glow. So this being a more all, well, this is an all matte bronzer. I'm still really loving it because the color is insanely Perfect. So now we're going to use my new blush. I picked up another blush from Kier Weiss. Their cream blushes are amazing. And I always forget like how you open these things. I know you have to like twist them, but it takes me a minute to figure out which way to go. So I got another blush. This is in the shade Joyful. So I'm going to take the back of my damp beauty blender here and we're just going to apply this to the cheeks. This one kind of has like that red undertone to it, which I love because I'm all about like the red kind of like sunburnt look. So I'm just gonna kind of dab this into my skin and then I'll go back and blend that in in a minute, you guys. But this looks beautiful. It does have that kind of like red sunburny look to it, which I love. All right, so then I'm just gonna go back and kind of blend that all in. Blend that blush in. That blush is gorgeous. Look at that, that is so beautiful. So finishing up with our highlighter, I've been using this little guy right here. I've been so obsessed with using this as my highlighter. Now this is gonna give you like an extreme highlight. Usually I'm all about like the natural glow and all of that, but lately I don't know what it is. I've just been kind of like into the extreme glow. Like, I don't know, I guess just a change. But this is the Makeup Forever Starlet Powder. You can use these on your eyes. I think they're technically for your eyes. But this shade in the number 13 shade makes the most beautiful highlight. So you want to be very careful with it because they're super powdery. They come out in this like little hole like this. But I'm just going to get some of this onto my fan brush. And then tapping off the excess, I am just going to sweep this along the cheekbone area. And it's so smooth. So even though it's like a definite like crazy extreme highlighter, because it's so smooth, it doesn't look chunky or, I don't know, like really too much on the skin. It just is so, so beautiful. And I'm just gonna take the extra and just kinda go along, like above my brow bone there a little bit. I always just like to give it a little bit of a glow over top of the brows. And then I do a little sweep down here and a little sweep above the lips. And then I just go over with a powder brush and just kinda blend that all in. Look at that glow, that glow is intense. 
minutes and I am loving it. All right, I'm gonna line my lips with the RMS Beauty Lip Liner. This is the daytime nude shade. This has become my everyday perfect, like favorite lip liner. I love this color so much. It goes with all my pinks, all my nudes. I've been pulling this one out like constantly. Okay, so now we lined our lips and you know what? I'm thinking, I'm thinking you guys, I might try lip injections soon. I don't know, I'm scared to do that, but I'm really wanting to do it. Like all my friends do it. I have friends that like swear by it. And my lips, I feel like, are shrinking. Like, I feel like they're just, like, shrinking, which they do as we get older. But I really feel like, I don't know, I feel like I could definitely see a change, like, shrinking of mine. So I'm thinking I might try out lip injections. If I do, do you guys want me to film it? I mean, I'm the biggest baby. Like, I'll probably be, like, the worst person to watch because I'll be freaking out. Um, because I know, like, the lips, I mean, I've seen, like, so many people get it done. And I know, like, lips, like, hurt. I guess, I don't know. Let me know if you wanna see that or if I should like film that cause I'm, like I said, I'm really, really debating getting that done just to kind of play with it and see what happens. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. All right, so we're gonna finish up this entire look with the new Dose of Colors. This is the lip gloss in Can You Not? I don't even know if this is new actually. I think it's, I don't know if it's new or if it's just new to Ulta, but I saw these at Ulta and the colors looked beautiful and like full coverage. So I thought I would give this a try, which I'm glad it's a lip gloss because my lips are so dry. You know, when you're sick, your lips just become insanely dry. Like I feel like my lips like can't even move right now. They're so dry. I feel like I need more volume in my lips. Like it's disappearing. Like it's definitely disappearing. Or maybe it's the fact that everybody's blowing up their lips so much that my like normal lips look so small now. <laughs> I don't know. I really like this lip gloss. It's not goopy or sticky on my lips. The coverage is really nice. And this color is right up my alley. So here is the final look up close before I zoom you guys out. Honestly, there's not one thing that I tried today that I don't like. Everything I feel like is a definite winner from the primer to the foundation. The foundation still looks and feels amazing on my skin. Blush is pretty, bronzer is gorgeous. I think we found a ton of new winners today. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me and just playing with and testing out all this new makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed. All of these products are gonna be linked and listed down below in the description box. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and also subscribe and also hit that bell because I've been getting so many messages from people saying that they're not getting notified of my videos popping up. So make sure you hit that little bell on my little subscription thing down there so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.